Hello, this is Ken. Welcome to the Information Nation. Hey, today I'd like to talk about Charlie Sheen, seeing as everybody else is talking about him, why shouldn't I? You know, Charlie, um, I listened to the interview live with Alex Jones on the Alex Jones Show, and uh, when I listened to him, he sounded off the wall, <clears throat> to say the least. But the reports have been that his drug testing, he's been clean. Uh, what happens to people when they come off of drugs is the same thing that people who have had blocked arteries in their heart and they've been opened up or they had bypass surgery. All of a sudden their mind starts getting clear and they start it starts racing at a thousand miles an hour at a speed of light. It's just going everywhere. Now Charlie said a few things about the producers of his show, Two and a Half Men, which, let's face it, <laughs> if any of the rest of us had said that stuff in public about our bosses, we'd have been terminated also. But he's also said some things that how many of us wish we could say to our bosses. Um, do I hold him up in high esteem right now? No. I think he has some problems that he has to work out, but he is a hell of an actor. I've watched him in several of his programs. One of his best ones was uh, Wall Street. I think he did a great job on Wall Street, but I think him, like Robert Downey Jr., who was also a drug addict, uh, had to clean himself up. Now, Robert Downey Jr. went to prison and rehab and seems to have straightened his life out. But we, it, it's showing a definite trend in Hollywood that, that has to be stopped. Um, now here's an example. This is an article I pulled off of Trend Hunter, trendhunter.com. And uh, Hayden Panettiere, uh, you remember her? She was the cheerleader in Heroes. Um, it seems that she's been spotted in the hot spots partying with Lindsay Lohan. Now, Lindsay Lohan is no one that Hayden Panettiere should be hanging around with, unless she intends to go the drunk driving scene, walk around in short, short skirts, no panties, uh, and be thinks she's going to be one of the bad girls. But this has gone on for a long time. I mean, the list, just, just a short list. Russell Brand, Johnny Depp, Kanye West, Colin Farrell, Russell Crowe, uh, Dennis Hopper, back a number of years ago, for you older people out there that, that remember Dennis Hopper when he did his uh, his drug things in that, says here that uh, the thing is even uh, his drugged out fall from grace only served in the end to set up one of the greatest acting comeback triumphs in the history of Hollywood. You know, whatever happened to the time when Hollywood had a morality clause in their contracts with these people? Um, I'm not saying that it, it, it should go to the point of what church you go to or anything else, but you have to be held to some kind of a standard, as everybody in the working world is. I mean, for crying out loud, companies today, a lot of companies you can't go to work for unless you're drug tested. And if you're found to have drugs in your system, they won't hire you. Or if you're employed and you're found to have drugs in your system, they'll fire you. So what's going on? Uh, maybe, just maybe the possibility that Hayden Panettiere could be saved from all of this if the judge grew a set of cojones and told Lindsay Lohan, you were on probation for drunk driving, now you're going out and stealing things, and if she's convicted, give her five years. But you see, the difference is, she's so cute, and, you know, it, it, it's only, uh, you know, a little bit of a little bit of theft, a little bit of drunk driving. Uh, she's not a major criminal who owes the government money like Wesley Snipes who they threw in prison. No, she's just, you know, she's just mis misinformed, misbegotten. And she needs to be coddled. No, she needs to be thrown in prison for three to five years and maybe that'll straighten her out. You know, we have some wonderful actors out there. Uh, Denzel Washington, I've seen him in a number of things. The Philadelphia Story, I still think he should have got the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor that year. He was phenomenal in that role. I've seen his Book of Eli, not one of his greatest movies, but a very good movie. 
He works with the troops. He goes and visits the troops. He donates money to help rehabilitate troops. He goes to the VA hospitals. Where is that all over the news? No, we'd rather put people out there who are like Britney Spears and, and Paris Hilton, who puts out an X-rated video, Lindsay Lohan, um, Demi Moore and Bruce Willis's uh, daughter, uh, Rummer Willis. Um, <clears throat> there, here's another one. Let's see what it says here. Um, oh, pictures were circulated on the internet with her with a bunch of condoms in her mouth. Plus, she was caught in the middle of a pot bust recently, according to E! Online. The 18-year-old second-generation thespian was present in the Maryland hotel room when a 32-year-old man was busted on misdemeanor drug charge of marijuana possession. Now, Charlie, if you say it's a false statement that, that somebody set you saying there was a suitcase full of cocaine in your hotel room, personally, if they'd have caught you with that, I think you should have gone to prison as a drug trafficker, not a user, but a trafficker. Come on, Charlie, straighten out your life. You're a heck of an actor. Your father, who I don't agree with his political views, is an extremely good actor. There's a lot of people in Hollywood I don't agree with your political, your politics, but I watch your movies and I watch your TV programs because you're very good actors, you entertain. Come on, man. You get a million and a half or a million dollars an episode? Do you realize that what you make in 10 episodes most people never make in their entire life. But it's also time for the justice system to get off their duff and start putting these people in prison. We can't have it anymore. It's time for Hollywood to turn around and say, look, you did this, it doesn't uphold to the standards that we have in your contract, you're fired. And for other people in Hollywood to say, we're not gonna hire you because of the, your, your actions. Now, clean up your actions. Yeah, we will hire you. We will give you a job. We will let you perform. And you start like Robert Downey Jr. did from the bottom and scrape your way up from, from the bottom of the barrel up. Now, you haven't heard anything about Robert Downey Jr. in a while. He went through a tough time. Hey, if he beat it, wonderful. I think that, that's great on Robert Downey Jr.'s part. But for the rest of these people, especially this Lindsay Lohan fruitcake. But you, you look at some of these. Um, Johnny Depp, I enjoy his movies. Although reformed, this eccentric actor defined the role of the modern-day bad boy with 13 tattoos, substance abuse, hotel trashing, and high-profile romances. But these days, the daddy of two is anything but a bad boy, and he's even given up smoking. Hey, great for Johnny Depp. Now, Johnny Depp, I mean, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, fantastic. Enjoyed him. I enjoy his acting. I've watched him ever since the first time I saw him in a movie was Edward Scissorhand. So, these people can turn their lives around. As far as Charlie goes, I hope he's clean. I hope he stays clean. I can understand where he's coming from. Um, I just hope that life works out and that we don't be reading about him in the obituaries rather than somewhere else. Come on, Charlie. Do us all a favor. Stay clean, man. And I understand what you're saying by winning. So, have a good life, Charlie. We'll see you in the funny papers. Hey, this is Ken for the Information Nation. I'm glad you tuned in. Subscribe if you would. Leave a comment. All the links are down below in the description. I really appreciate you people tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.